the province tonight over the looming closure of a long-term care facility. The Missioner Centre in Red Deer looks after some of Alberta's most vulnerable citizens. Well, the sister of one patient there worries her brother could die if he's forced to move. Amanda Anderson explains why. The Missioner Centre has been part of my life since I was a child. My Diane Esslinger's younger brother was born with cerebral palsy and a severe seizure disorder. The Missioner Centre is the only home he's ever known. He's one of about 125 residents forced out when the centre closes. When I hear that five people who have moved out of Rich Michener have since died, I wonder if, if there is a connection. Yes, I do wonder. Critics make the claim those residents died after a transfer. There can be no question that shuffling around highly fragile individuals has created untold horror stories and declining health outcomes for residents. All three opposition parties now demand the province stop the closure until the deaths are reviewed to ensure the transition wasn't a contributing factor. I'm not willing to stand by and allow a 8% mortality rate to continue to a next group of people that are scheduled to be transferred. It's my worst fears for Larry. Esslinger doesn't think her brother will survive the move. His needs are complex, his medical needs, his health needs, it's very uh, tricky to feed him. The province stands by its decision to close the facility despite the deaths. We are still moving ahead with the transition. The government says a lot of planning goes into finding the same or better level of care for each patient and that the families have an integral role in the process. We do regular check-ins with the individuals making sure that their needs are being met. Not good enough for Esslinger, who vows to fight her brother's transfer. When the day comes that I am standing at my brother's gravesite, I need to know that I've done what I can to make life the best that it can be for him. Amanda Anderson, CTV News, Edmonton. The Missioner Centre is still on target to close at the end of December. The province tells CTV News another 44 residents are ready to be moved soon. A big policy announcement from Jim Prentice today. If elected PC leader, he'd impose term limits. MLAs would not be allowed to serve more than three terms, and the Premier would only sit for two. A big idea, yes. The only potential problem, an expert we spoke with, says it's not legal. Brianna Carson-Smith has more. In a 20-minute speech to a room full of supporters, PC leadership candidate Jim Prentice makes more than two dozen promises. Reducing the size of the cabinet. Automatic severance payments will be eliminated. We will put an end to sole source contracts. There will be term limits. It's that last promise that's got some questioning the leadership candidate because term limits may not be legal. I think that would clearly infringe uh, Section 3. University of Alberta law professor Eric Adams is talking about the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Which guarantees a right for, of citizens not only to vote in uh, federal and provincial elections, but also of citizens to stand for office. He says that means term limits aren't allowed in Canada. I asked Prentice, who is a trained lawyer, and when pressed, he reaffirmed he plans to introduce the idea as legislation as part of a new Accountability Act. It ensures that uh, we have turnover in the political political process it ensures that people stay grounded. Brianna Karsten Smith, CTV News, Edmonton. The following a PC Youth Leadership Forum held tonight, Prentice reaffirmed that he doesn't believe term limits will go against the Charter, adding it works in the U.S. He was then asked why Albertans would want to be the first to adopt an Americanized term limit system. Albertans have always led this country uh, in terms of democratic reform. They have always uh, led this country in terms of creativity in the political system and uh, Albertans have never been shy uh, to be a province that's in front of everybody else. Prentice the... says he's since received a great deal of support for his term limits idea. There are unconfirmed reports tonight of an explosion in the